everybody. My name is Lisa and I'm the community manager for Blogger and today joining me is Alan Christian and Hello. today hi. <laughs> we're going to be talking about printer friendly blogger posts and uh, I'm going to let Alan Christian introduce himself to you guys about how long he's been using Blogger and what he's done with it so far. Hello, I'm Alan Christian. I'm a photographer, uh, developer, uh, gaming enthusiast. I have many hats. Uh, I've been using Blogger since June of 2008. Um, I love the platform. What attracted me to Blogger is the freedom to build your brand. You can customize it, you can edit, you can make changes and really separate yourself from other places. There are other platforms, I won't mention them, but there are limitations that I didn't like and I saw Blogger as a real uh, place where I can, you know, make it my own. And other places just don't let you have that freedom. And even if you do edit it, there's still that branding of that other platform. But with Blogger, you can change it and unless you know what to look for, you won't even know it's a Blogger website. I just really like the freedom. Well, so if freedom is something you're looking for, and um, especially if you're looking to be able to be able to display like certain aspects of your page, so that when somebody uses it, um, they don't see all the sidebars and all the extra stuff. Um, like I think all of that is kind of applicable to what we're talking about today. Specifically, we're talking about how to make your pages printer friendly, so that when someone you know, prints out this page, it's pretty much just the content of your post. But you can also kind of learn through this method of using CSS, um, which is cascading style sheets. You can also elect which parts of your sidebar you want to keep or remove. So we're going to be talking about all of that today. Um, and I just wanted to quickly talk about like the format of how this is going to be done. We're just going to be kind of talking with each other and Alan Christian is going to be doing a demo. But while he's doing that, I'm going to be checking on the Blogger Plus page to see if anybody has been leaving comments or questions. And if there are any questions that, um, you know, that we can talk about through, during this Hangout, I will be asking Alan Christian and um, hopefully we'll be able to get the answers that you are looking for. If not, we can definitely follow up. Um, we'll be doing a wrap-up post after this um, Hangout. And then what else is there? Well, I guess we can start off by talking about how printer-friendly pages are useful. I've seen some requests from groups such as blo food bloggers who you know, find this to be a pretty useful feature because they want to be able to send their users to a page where they can pretty much just click it and um, see a... Um, I, th I, th I think I hear your clicker. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I was just uh, <laughs> you can't either promoting the hangout. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you should do that. <laughs> okay. Where was I? All right. So um, food bloggers would find this to be a really useful feature because then they can have a view of their post or their recipe that their users can print out and keep in a recipe book or something like that. Or you can be able to copy and paste the information really easily into a document to print out. Um, another group that might benefit from this is if you are, for example, someone who blogs um, stories that you'd like to be printed out um, or your readers to be able to print out, um, like a serial. Um, and then also um, photography blogs. You want to be able to have your images just show up by themselves if you were to print them out instead of with all the chrome that's involved um, with a normal blog post. So I well, think I, I, just, mm -hmm. I just wanted to point out that what we're going to show today is that anybody at the web page can do this. Mm -hmm. uh, it benefits blogger users, but basically it works on any kind of web page, the, the method I'm about to show for printer-friendly. Cool. So let's get started. Are you ready to do the demo? Yes. All right. So take it away. All right. So basically what we're going to use for printer-friendly pages are cascading style sheets. And cascading style sheets is a separation of presentation and content. And what that means is simply this. You make a blog post on Blogger, you have the text of that post. That's the content. 
the presentation is how that blog post looks to other people. And you can change the presentation without having to go and edit your blog post again. That's what CSS brings to the table. So, for example, you say, you know what, I like how my blog looks. I mean, I'm sorry, I don't like how my blog looks. And say you've decided this 1,000 posts later. Well, you, know, you don't want to go back and edit all your old entries. What you want to do is simply change a few things. So if you change the CSS, you can do that. And Blogger already facilitates this. So it's not something new you have to add to your blog. It's already there for you. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to put a link on the screen. And that's going to be the page we're going to look at as a uh, visual aid. And I'm going to bring that on the screen in just a moment. And that's the web page that I just linked to. I'll just add the link there. And now this web page, as you can see, it has all this information. We have the sidebar. We have all the widgets. We have these pictures down here for the related posts. And you know, all this text big and all this information. Now what we want to do is, if somebody prints out this web page, not have all this appear on it. Because basically what they're looking for is the text of the blog post, as I mentioned. You know, printer-friendly blog post. You can ignore the actual entry for now. We're just using this as an example. And so that's what it looks like. What I'm going to do is now show you what it looks like when you print this web page out. So I'm going to be doing stuff. It's not going to show up. Let's see here. And then I'm just going to switch windows again. Alan Christian, I don't know if you were going to mention this, but um, go ahead. When we are actually like dealing with um, editing the, you know, adding the CSS, can you talk a little bit about? where it is, how people can get started. Like, for, for example, if I'm someone who's never, I've always just used the normal blogger templates, and I'm a pretty like new user, and I don't really feel that comfortable with you know, making changes, can you kind of explain like, how I can get started with making these edits? Sure. OK, let me go back to the browser then. Um, OK, yeah. OK. Well, Blogger has, uh, it has a, a CSS editor. And let's see, I think it's in edit HTML. Well, here's a template page. And I'm showing the dynamic views, of course. Uh, if you click on template over here, and I'll click it again. And now we have all these different dynamic views and classics that you have to choose from. I believe it's in, let's see, edit HTML. And we're going to open the template designer. If you go into advanced, you can, that error, I know why that's there, because I make customizations, but it's not important. All these different references you see here, these are references to cascading style sheets already in your, your blog template. But if you click here, Add CSS, you can actually add code and edit it. If this is, this is the very basic way to, to get into this. If you don't want to touch the code at all, if you don't want to go into it, you can come here and you can edit whatever it is you want to do. So the exception to this, like if you, if you become more comfortable to like actually editing the code within your own blog, you can download the complete HTML file for your blog and then make the edits Correct. in a separate um, text editor 
and then yes. load it back into Blogger. So I, I'm guessing that's what Alan Christian does. Yes, I, I do it on a separate text editor offline. Okay. But I think for beginners, if they were to be able to take your snippet of code, can they just throw it into the CSS and would that make the changes? Yes, it would. In fact, for simplicity's sake, I'll do that here. Let me copy okay. and paste the code. Actually, we haven't shown what it looks like yet. Let me change windows real quick. Okay, now this is a print preview of my web page. And if you have a look at it, you'll see that those elements are there. We have the sidebars, the widgets, all these graphical elements, this, and that's not a good printout because you have all this extra stuff and it's wasting paper, we've got all these images, color, so let's change that. And so I will go back to the other window. And by the way, the reason I have that web page uh, displayed is you can see an example of this live. If you actually go to that web page, you'll see that when you do a print preview, all this information is displayed. And so the reason I'm showing this web page address is so that we can do it live to, to further exemplify the changes you can make with printer-friendly blog posts. So we'll go back here. No, that's my text editor. There we are. OK, what I'm going to do is copy and paste the code I'm using. And this code basically hides elements. Actually, it does two changes. I'll explain them. OK. The first area here, without getting too technical, basically adds a rule to the web page that says, what we're going to do is hide all these elements. So I'll just read it out to you hiding the header, the sidebar wrapper, the related articles, comment forms, jump links, and page navigator. And this code over here, what that does is says, make the width 100%, basically taking up the whole page when you're printing out. And I'm going to save, apply to blog, template applied. And as you can see, this looks the same. And I just want to point that out as well. This looks the same because while we change something, actually it looks the same as I didn't hit refresh. <laughs> All right. It looks the same and basically that's not going to affect the presentation that most people are looking at. Again, we're just changing the, print, the printer friendly version. So now what I'm going to do is do a print preview again. So I just want to um, ask you a quick question. So what's happening is go for it. When somebody adds that C CSS code. Basically, the page itself will look exactly the same to yes. a viewer, but when they try to print it, it'll get rid of all the stuff on the sidebars. Correctly. Okay. So my next question is, there's also a way then to do it so that there's, I guess, a preview page for the user. Like, for example, if I'm, you know, a food blogger and I want to be able to say, um, print or show my recipe in like a printer friendly view, like they could do that so that the page itself looks as if it was Yes. Right. And okay. you can customize it however you want. Like the, okay. sh the code that you saw on the screen, that's my code, but mm -hmm. obviously if you know how you want those recipes to appear, you can customize that completely so that when they're printing it out, it looks uh, totally different and exactly what you want a recipe to look like. Cool. Okay, and if there was a user who wasn't quite as tech savvy, based on the code that you started with, do you think they would be able to go in and kind of like figure out what to tweak in order for things like that to happen? 
It's a very good jumping off point, yes. Okay, cool. And, you know, as people can leave comments and questions in, I'm willing to help anybody that needs help with this. It's no problem. Awesome. Uh, so let me show what it looks like with the code. And there it is. Now this is the same web page, and this is what the code applied. As you can see, we have all we have the header taken out, the sidebar. All we have is the text and the comments. And that's what somebody wants when they're printing it out. And of course, if somebody didn't want comments to print out, then they can just not print the last page. See page three. But you can leave that choice up. But of course, everyone is free to edit this however they want. With cascading style sheets, you have that ability to, you know, customize it to your liking. Cool. Yeah, and in our wrap-up, we'll be providing you a link to not only that blog post, but also some um, kind of like wrap-up summary key points that hopefully will be helpful for you when you try to apply this to your own blog. And everybody watching the Hangout right now, if they follow that link at the bottom, they can actually see for themselves how the print preview has changed. Cool. So you have this applied across your whole entire blog then? Do you yes. Have, okay. So really they can go to any page on your blog and they would be able to, if they click the print preview... Oh, that, that's correct. Any page on the blog and they'll see that print preview. And they'll see how it looks differently when, when you click on that, correct? Cool. Awesome. All right. I don't think I saw any questions, so I think we're good. Um, let me just take a quick look real quick. Okay. Hmm. Someone mentioned he couldn't see the code on the screen. I guess the problem was that because we're doing yeah. it, you would have to zoom in a little bit. Um, but the good news is that you will be able to look at it once either you can go to that um, link that we've posted on here or in the wrap-up we will add, um, we'll probably just add the code snippet. Um, oh no, what? The, light in this room, the light in my room just turned off. I have to stand up and move around. Oh, is it automatic? Yeah, one second. <gasps> okay, here we go, here we go. <laughs> it's great for Sorry. energy saving. Yes, it's sometimes too smart for its own good. <laughs> okay, so I think we're good. I just want to say thanks to Alan Christian for doing this um, hangout with us and for teaching us. And we'll look forward to having you come back and do another one soon. My pleasure. This was fun. Great. All right, so we'll be working on the wrap-up, and then hopefully you guys will find that useful and let us know if you have any other questions. Yes, let us know any questions. Just because this is over doesn't mean you don't need help. Uh, especially if, you know, as somebody said that they wouldn't be able to watch it live because they're going to work. So I will uh, provide show notes and answer questions. Not a problem. Awesome. Thanks so much. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.